coming up on Crossfire Collectibles, we have the GMP Parts Department. 1 and 1 scale garage accessories part 2. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video is going to be a rather short one. But we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the GMP parts department 1 and 1 18 scale garage accessories kit part 2 as part of our heart wrenchers garage series as you can see we have heart wrencher standing by and a little stand up sign we made so this will actually be going on the garage once it's finished um during this video i'm actually going to show you a little sneak peek of the garage and how the progress is coming along as well as a uh, a town patron who needs some repairs so let's go ahead and check out the box so here is part two of this set um you saw my last diecast uh parts and accessory set and it wasn't made by gmp but it was um pretty similar i think they share the parts they just put different uh, decals and stuff on them um this one i mean i already have a jack and i already have one of these creeper i believe it was called but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh Pop these out and see how they look but here's the box part number 9012 i saw they had quite a few of these um you can find them on ebay and plenty of other sellers have them you know throughout the internet but uh, they have all different types of sets i got this one because i wanted these little tire ramps these uh floor jacks that oil pan and uh the peach state tools um I believe that's oil 5w30 anyway side of the box uh, pretty much the same on both sides and the top underneath and here's the back it's actually upside down got a little bio here gmp has done it again you know blah 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 gives you the floor jack mechanics creeper cases of oil oil catch pan ramps jack stands all right so let's go ahead and pop this open but first please subscribe to the channel <laughs> So yeah, this, is, this set's coming along pretty nicely. Um, I have some more things ordered. I found some uh, sellers on Etsy that sell a bunch of stuff. And as I mentioned, I'm attaching this to a uh, kind of a Dreadnought hideout. And I'm gonna be like, sprucing that up quite a bit. I'm gonna put a bar in there and a uh, pool table and uh, all kinds of other stuff. So it's gonna be pretty neat. Make sure you uh, check it out. We'll definitely get a video done once it's finished. And I'll let you guys see it. Okay, jack stand operations. So those things actually work. Cool, we'll keep that out and check it out. Here's our plastic dungeon and all of our accessories inside. You can see this has some, uh, that's probably nicotine damage. I don't think it's sun damage. So maybe this was sitting in the shop for a while while they smoked. I've actually been in plenty of stores where the owner is actually smoking there and it's, it's pretty rough. So it does damage um, packagings, especially the um, clear plastic. But you can see here, there's a little bit of felt plastic insert and it's gotten to that too. Yikes. But anyway, I'm gonna dump all this stuff out. We'll show off everything. So starting out, we have our little oil pan. And this is cool. I actually want to use this. I can set it underneath some of the vehicles. Made a die cast. Uh, I think the inside is die cast as well. Red with the uh, black inside. Pretty neat. Next up, we have our jack. So this one actually has a like a cranking piece here, and that comes up. Oh, very cool. You got some logos on there. You got the peach state tools. Now next up, we have another pair of die cast pieces here, and these are our tire ramps. So this one's all red, as well as this one. Now I'm not sure our vehicles will actually, you know, fit up on here, the tires anyway. But um, we have a, a vehicle that we're actually going to show you in this video, so we'll test it out. And here's your little creeper here. Peach State Tools. Kind of has a wood look, but it's actually plastic. No die cast on this, handcrafted in China, and the wheels do not move. So, 
That'll be our second one of those, and don't really have any use for them, but we'll set them aside for Anna, just for, you know, deco. Here you have uh, two small boxes, Peach State, and this would be some, like, oil boxes. I'll show one up. So they'll look good on a shelf. And then finally, we have these little uh, floor jacks, whatever you want to call them. So I'm not seeing fully pull support to the desired level. So I mean, you can work with that, but eh. maybe I'll have two up and like two down or something like that. But these are die cast as well. You have the uh, red piece down here. I think that inner piece is plastic. Um, the black and white like, stand itself. I mean, you get four of these. Yeah, I think the only issue is um, they will not lock into place. So if you plan on uh, putting something up on them, you know, in a, like a raised position, it's not going to hold. But yeah, so that was fast. That was a quick opening and review. So um, let's go ahead and bring out our little special guest appearance. As I mentioned, we have somebody who's going to be driving around and looking for a place to uh, get some work done. So we went ahead and kind of replicated, you know, the old Real American Hero cartoon as well as some of the comics. And we got Flint and a Corvette. So I thought that was cool. Um, this thing is really nice. Got this stuff in the way. I'm going to officially move it so you can see it. Doors popping open. Rolls really nice. This has a ton of features. It's all die cast. Open it up. You see the engine. Even the trunk opens and you have a spare tire in there. You got Daytona Beach Corvette and the license plates. See the axle moves. It does move with the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. And this looks nice. Looks like a nice cherry you know, great Corvette that you know, Flint would ride around in. He fits in there nicely. He's a little raised up right now. He's a little big, but I mean, he's looking directly over the windshield, but it works. So I thought that'd be cool to show off. I'm actually gonna have Flint, you know, trying to go get some work done when I set up the diorama. He's gonna be uh, outside kind of looking over like, uh, uh, can you service the old, you know, 67 vet? And they'll be like, no, Joe's here. But anyway, we're gonna check out those tires on these ramps and um, they fit surprised i thought they'd be too thin but nope they are like almost just right so very cool they actually work i'm really surprised with that one i didn't think they were going to at all but you know shocked every day it was something new in the back to prop up so he, these doors won't stay shut though uh, i'm pressing them in. anyways so that'll be it for uh flint and Flint's whip. <clears throat> Alright, so also, like I said, I have a little surprise for you. I'm going to show you um, kind of the inside of Heart Wrencher's Garage and the progress it's, you know, going through. So, check this out. Start out, here's our little World Peacekeepers uh, post. And this is going to be the uh, entrance to the Dreadnought Hideout. I'm still working on the interior. It's nowhere near finished and we have a lot to do. Uh, you see I put a beer sign on the outside. The top got a few things and you can see the back where the garage will start. So we're gonna come around to the side. I did a uh, fill this wall in with some joy toy pieces as well as the other side. Um, here is kind of this is gonna be like the front of the garage itself. I still have to put some um, I don't know some kind of design on it. I'm not sure if I want to use brick or actually just paint it or what. And of course I got to put a nice garage door. So we got the roof right here. The roof does come off to reveal the inside. Behold! Um, I went ahead and did some work with this already. As you can see, the walls are brick. We have that checker pattern floor. We have a little brooder car service area and the motorcycle right there. We added some more pieces in the back. We got a couple of Playboys, courtesy of Bad Mother. A joy toy stairwell, um, tire rack coming up little entertainment system, and I've got some coal slither, a bunch of posters in here. Give a shout out to some of this stuff. I just think it's pretty hilarious. But it's cool, it works out. Oh, we also have a bathroom. Open that up and get some 
stuff in there, you know. Sorry for the the blurriness I can't really see. Got a like a jailhouse toilet in there. Pretty funny. But yeah, that's our um that's our heart wrenchers garage so far. And I think it's come along pretty well. So yeah, I hope you guys um think that it's looks pretty good, you know, it's coming along. Like I said, I've been doing a little bit of work on it here and there. I'm not really rushing into it, but I have a lot more to do. Once it's um, done and ready, I have to build a little bit onto the back of the Dreadnought hideout and then uh, flip the garage itself to the side so there is a door, you know, coming in and the garage door will be out front. The uh, Also, I guess the garage interior door, whatever, will lead into the Dreadnought hideout, so it should be pretty cool. You'll see a little party zone in there. We're going to have like a, a fridge with a bunch of drinks in it and stuff like that. I haven't decided if I'm going to set up like a, uh, like a cashier area. You know, they got to make a living too, so have a little kind of business running out of there. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and toss our parts up onto the turntable and give you a quick final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Now, back to G.I. Joe. All right, and here you have it. Your GMP parts department 101 18th scale garage accessory set part two. Pretty cool. Um, some definitely some parts I can use, you know, for the uh, Heart Wrenches garage. Um, I did want them, them tire ramps, definitely, and the oil pan. Uh, I do need some of those little oil boxes. And, um, we actually have some more printable boxes that we got that we need to actually cut out and, uh, I guess assemble together so we're gonna have like a little area in there like a stock area so it should be pretty neat but um overall this set's pretty cool this was actually cheaper i think this only ran me about 14 bucks um everything's die cast nice and durable i'm not going to be messing around too much with it because i don't want anything to possibly break because some of these um these hinges and stuff on this die cast stuff can actually snap uh some hinges are metal some are actually plastic so they're just going to be there for decoration so overall I think they're pretty neat and it'll work out but um that's going to do it for this one i hope you guys enjoy what you saw if you did please like always leave that giant thumbs up subscribe tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos be sure to follow us on social media and we will see you in the next one peace